Your blood is breaking through. Your blood opens the door. Lord, I thank you, Lord, and open heaven. Lord. Open heaven, Lord. I thank you, my God. Angels are ascending and descending. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your power. I thank God that you're empowering us, your people, to pray, to pray through tonight, to pray with the anointing, to pray with the unction. We pray with breakthrough. We thank you, my God. Today, Lord, strongholds are being broken, broken over each and every person that is here. Tonight, Lord, we stretch strong. Strongholds becoming every spirit of infirmity affecting anybody in this group, Lord. We break its power, we resist it, we break every weakness, Lord, every demonic assignment over this group. We break it in here. We declare Jesus as Lord. Lord, I thank you. The truth shall set us free. Lord, we speak liberty, 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 liberty. We release liberty in the realm of the spirit. We declare liberty, Lord, touch every person. Lord, anoint every person as they come in to pray. Lord, anoint your warriors, Lord, with fresh oil, anointing them, Lord, anointing your warriors with fresh oil, fresh oil tonight, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil of the Holy Ghost. We release the fresh oil of the Holy Ghost. We release fresh oil of the Holy Ghost, the fresh oil of the Holy Ghost, fresh anointing, fresh anointing, even to do battle. Lord, I thank you, Lord, anointing us for better, our fingers for better than our hands for war. We declare today, Lord, we declare yes, breakthrough, we declare blessing, okay, okay. we declare the victory of the cross over every situation, yes, every circumstance. Okay. Lord, we commit this prayer meeting into your hand. Blessed, we speak blessing, Father. We yes, pray the blessing no, of God. Okay. Breakthrough, so Father, let there be signs, wonders, and miracles. Today, let them see yeah, visions, impressions, let scriptures yeah. come to them. Let prayers yes. come to them. Let the uh, the voice of God come to them. Lord, I thank you that they're hearing by the Spirit and praying by the Spirit tonight. That's what we are doing. We're hearing by the Spirit and praying by the Spirit. We are doing our prayer. We are praying what heaven wants us to do. We release anointing. I release the anointing. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for your presence, Lord. Tonight, Lord, we thank you for breakthrough that is coming. We speak breakthrough over the prayer meeting itself. We declare open heaven. We declare liberty, Lord God. Praise and thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. Uh, anybody want to share something, want to pray, God is showing you anything, just go for it, please. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I just Jesus, felt God say me. to me, my saints will experience sign wonders and miracles, and hey, then they'll hey, take it out hey. to the nation. The Lord said, right across the church. Amen. And they'll take it to the nation. They'll take it to the nation. Thank you, Lord. Thank hey. you, Lord. Up off their beds, God said. They get up off their beds, their sick beds even, and go Thank out to the nation. Thank you, Lord. Hey. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Jenny, want to pray into that signs, wonders, and miracles. That's one of our yes. speaking for the year. Just speak it. Declare it. I declare in the name of Jesus Thank that you, we Lord. are... We are, as you told me, Lord, we are buffers between the evil and the good. And oh. Father, you're telling me we will be carriers of your anointing. I thank you, Lord, that we will be carriers of signs, wonders and miracles as they come into our family, into our, our sick beds. And into those who said, I can never walk properly, I can never dance properly. The Lord saying, oh, but you will. I'm calling you, says God. And there's, there's a time and a place, isn't there, Lord, when you're going to raise up your church into great energy and great joy. You've told me, Lord, and I speak it out. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And we are coming forth in your name, Lord Jesus. We are coming to declare liberty for the captive to heal the brokenhearted, to set the captive free. We thank you, Lord, that you're calling us. And we, I pray tonight that we will start to move into it, Father, even if it's a little trickle, Father. Amen. Even if the first person who couldn't dance can dance. Amen. Even if the sickest body in the church gets well and something happens and a tide flows. I can sense God saying a big tide will come. 
a little trickle, then a huge tide of healing and anointing. Signed wonders and miracles Hallelujah. spilling out, Hallelujah. says God, spilling over, uncontrollable, Hallelujah. like a flood. And many will say, I didn't think God would use me in this way, and they will be used, says the Lord. They will be used. We thank you, Lord. Get it, get it. Can we make a decree of that? Uh, like the Bible says, the uh, reading the Bible is say, out of his mouth shall come a two aged sword. And the two aged sword that come out of the mouth of Jesus is the decrease because whatever he decrees happens. Amen. And uh, mm. we are joined with Christ Jesus. Yes. And uh, he is in our hearts. Amen. We are his mouth today. Hallelujah. We are the mouth yes. of Jesus today. And I want each and every one of us by faith and you know, with, with all the unction that if God in you, just begin to decree not even ask but to decree and declare decree. amen decree father we declare all of us you know we decree, decree. sign all of us saying together we decree signs wonders and miracles. and miracles we declare signs wonders, signs, and, wonders miracles. and miracles we declare by the spirit of the lord signs spirit wonders and miracles signs, wonders breaking and miracles. open it's happening it's coming forth in our life signs, wonders and miracles in our life signs wonders and miracles in our families we declare our families we lift up our family we declare we are doing signs and wonders and miracles we declare signs and wonders in our church. We declare it, God. We declare it. People are going to be healed. People are being set People are being delivered. People are being convicted. People are being comforted. People are having visions. People are having plans. Signs and wonders and miracles in the house of God. The church of God is rising up, Lord. I thank the anointing the church to. We declare signs, wonders and miracles, signs, wonders and miracles, signs, wonders and we declare all over the nation of Australia. Signs and wonders and miracles, Lord. Your hand is moving. Your spirit is being poured forth. The fire of God is burning. The rivers of living water is flowing. We declare it is happening. We declare it is ready to call for rain in the time of the latter rain. Now in the time of the latter rain, we call for the rain. We call for the break. We call it in. We thank you, Lord. You mightily, miraculously, powerfully. That thank you, Lord. That bondages are being broken. And God, families are being healed, Lord. Sons and daughters are coming, thank Lord. I thank you for restoration in every family, every life, every ministry, Lord. We speak restoration, signs, yes. wonders and miracles. We declare it. We decree it. We call it. Lord, we thank you, my God. Yes, that you're lifting a powerful anointing, a powerful grace of God, Lord. I thank you for signs, wonders. Former in the latter rain, Lord. We decree it. We declare it. We see it, Father. We taste it. Oh, how good. Oh, the fields are white to harvest. The fields are white. Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Judy, God is showing you anything, Judy? Yes. Yeah. Um, I saw when we were praying before that um, it was the third hour, and the third hour is the hour of miracles. And <laughs> that, um, <laughs> it's the hour of intercession. It's often, you know, when I've been woken up in the night, it happens to be at 3 a.m. It's like a time to pray. Yeah. And it's a time when we can make a difference um, for the new day. So I feel what we're praying now in this season, it's like it's 3 o'clock in the morning and it can oh. go either way. So it's up to us to be co-laboring with the Lord. And as we co-labor with Christ, we're going to... <laughs> We're going to make a difference for the new day. We're going to birth the right outcome. We're going to have a hope mm -hmm. and a future for this nation, for our families, for our churches. Amen. And, um, and I see mm. that we're building in the spirit and it's making a difference. And you know, when Noah um, had to build the ark, he had specific instructions from the Lord. So God gives us specific instructions as we intercede. And, mm. and as we build in the spirit, um, we're actually building, it's like an ocean liner that... Um, that we're going to we're building a vessel that will carry a lot of people and it's going to um carry us through the deep waters so wow. it's not just a little sailing boat but yes we will have to go through deep waters but the vessel that the lord is building for us um as a church is um is a large ocean going vessel and it's going to sail through the deep waters and i see the vessel sailing into the horizon and it's a bright horizon um, so we're setting sail, going in the right direction, and it's a really bright future for us. It's a bright 
horizon that we're sailing towards. So we thank you, Father, for the hope and the future for yes, Coast Alive Church, the hope and the future for our families, the hope yes, and the future for this nation of Australia. Yes, I thank you that you are in charge of our future, yes, Lord, that um, we decree the hope and the future. Amen. Uh, you promise to us, you mm-hmm. promise amen. to us a yes and amen. And we thank you that, that we can make a difference. We can birth miracles. We can birth um, good things, Lord as we put our trust in your word. Your word never passes away, Lord. We stand on your word and we thank you that your word today does not return void, but it shall accomplish the things which you sent it to do. So we thank you for a bright horizon, that we're heading towards a bright horizon as we begin to look up, look to the Lord, look to the hills from whence comes your help. Your help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and of earth. Beautiful Lord. Just exalt your name, Jesus. Your name, Jesus, is above all other names. It's above the name of COVID. It's above um, all other names that are trying to um, get our attention in this time, Lord. And we set our eyes upon you. We fix our eyes towards you and the hope that we have in Jesus' name. Hey. Yes, thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You're praying, people, whatever you've got to pray. (laughs) Just have a vision for Catherine. Um, Catherine, I feel the Lord is lifting the lid on the anointing that you have. He's lifting the lid. You have so much on the inside that he's wanting to draw out. He's lifting the lid today. And um, and that which is on the Amen. inside is going to be prophesied. Amen. There's so much on the inside of you and yes. he's wanting you to speak. I just thank you, Father, for Catherine and for the anointing on her life. I thank you that as she opens her mouth, uh, you will feel it, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, that wealth. Thank you, Judy. Hey. There's a lot of treasure in there. So. Yes, she has. I got a sort of a word for you, Rex. God Thank says, you, you know, where's he gone? You there? You this? I just felt God said that as you desire after him, he desires after you and there's a real strength and love for God coming. The Lord says it will affect men. It will particularly affect men. God says this. Out of strife and trouble, God says, I have made a man. And the Lord says, you're a man of kindness, a man of compassion. And the Lord says, but there's strength in it. It's called meekness. Uh, meekness is bridal strength. You don't use your strength to beat people around, but you've got a great strength. And God says, I'm molding you like a rough diamond and I'm taking off the edges. And God says, you will have a mighty ministry. God's going to call you to men. Men that are broken, men that are devastated, men that have failed, men. And he says that don't fear for everything will be there that you need. And I see you laying your hand on many men's shoulders like, a, you know, the queen puts the sword on and she knights them. I sense God, you're lifting your arm, you're putting it on the shoulder of men and saying, be healed and be strong. God's going to impart to them from what he does to you. And you're going to wonder at the things that he does through you, Rex. It's going to be just incredible. So I just sense God saying it's your day. Don't fear. It's all going to come. All the darkness will pass. All the hurt will pass. And God says you'll come forth in everything I have for you. In fact, that's rather amazing. Because when I first moved there, you know where I lived. I lived in a real big house. And I looked after people with mental or drug problems or alcohol problems and yeah. But strict rules, but that's what happened there. Yeah. And have an like impartation to, to men. Yeah. I think a lot of those people have got productive lives now. Well your heart your heart is good so good for men. It's 
You know, there's men who've been hurt by life and they get um, bitter, but you didn't. No, you no. have such a compassion and, and an empathy, which God loves. You know, empathy is a beautiful thing. Any, anybody want to lift up a prayer, showing you something, want to share? Let's just pray for the nation now. Let's lift up Australia. Mm. Mm. Scott Morrison in particular. Father, mm. we lift up, Lord, uh, our nation of Australia, the great Southland of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we declare, Lord, your word upon this nation, that this is a nation that is set aside for God, by God for the end times. Father, we declare the destiny over, over this nation, Lord, to be a revival mm. nation to take revival yeah, to the nations of the world. Lord, I thank you, Lord, yeah, that even yeah, if it's yeah. separated yeah, by waters yeah, on all yeah. four corners, Lord, I thank you, Lord, yeah, you're planning yeah. your purpose, Lord, your strategy. Yeah, we yeah. declare, Lord, of us, we yeah, kingdom yeah, come. Yeah, your yeah, will yeah. be done. We yeah, declare yeah. your kingdom yeah, come. Yeah. Your will be done. We declare, yeah, Lord, yeah. that even in the corridors of power, yeah, Lord, we yeah. just pray yeah. a mighty... <laughs> mighty yes, visitation of your spirit of encounter of the spirit of God I, I sense that God is going to go right to the to the head right to Canberra amen I believe yes. he's going to touch Canberra hallelujah yes. he's going to touch yes, the head amen, amen. He's, he's going to breathe on that place he's going to go in there and there, there's going to be judgment in Canberra but also a move and restoration in Canberra I believe yes. God is going to deal with politicians there and he's going to sip them like wheat, you know, between wheat and chef. He's going to be a displacing of certain ones and appointing a new one for says the Lord. Oh, my plan and my purpose as I had, and I'm going to shift and change. I'm going to move the chessboard as I would have it to be. And God says he's going to put in place men and women who will be for the move of God and for righteousness. And therefore the Lord says, my sons and my daughters, do not lose heart over what is happening in the nation. For even as the enemy is moving and the enemy is trying to stop my plans and purposes for this nation of yes, Australia. My spirit is moving in the very places. You will hear of judgment in Canberra when I take out some and I'll appoint out. Well, I'm going to clean house in the spirit of God. I'm going to clean house in Canberra. I'm going to clean out the Canberra house and my spirit is moving that place. And my men are going to be appointed there. I'm going to do it supernaturally. I'm going to do it miraculously. Some will resign from their job, but it's not them yes. resigning. I'm pulling them down, and I'm going to get others into that. For even I am setting the stage, say the Lord, for a move of my spirit. But I'm going to have yes. the headship of this nation to be in coordination yes. with me, to be in alignment with me. So yes. not only the church, the spiritual body will be will be ready, but I'm going to get the government ready, the government that is sympathetic for a move yeah. of God. Yeah. I've decreed, I've decreed, I've declared. I purpose that this nation will not go the way of other nations, but will stand out as a light on a hill and it will declare yes, my yes. glory and my purpose. Therefore, says the Spirit of God, fear yes. not my children, but look to me. Do not look at the media, yes. but look to me as you look to me. I shall even reveal to you other things. But my hand is upon this nation. It yes. shall not go, it shall not go to waste, but it shall prosper and blossom. And the days that are coming are the best years for us. I've purposed it, I planned it, and it shall come to pass. Father, I pray today, yes. Lord. We Amen. pray, my God, for your yes, plan, Lord. your purposes. We do not look at what the devil does, but we look at what you are doing, Lord. We thank yes. you for restoration. We thank yes. you for miracles. I thank you. You're going to clean up, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Yes, you're going Lord. to move there on the chessboard, Father God. I thank you. We declare a revival, Lord, revival over this nation. Lord, we lift up our Prime Minister. The Word of God says to pray for those who are in power and authority. We declare the wisdom of God. We declare revelation. We pray most important for a God encounter. Father, we pray tonight, Lord, that even as a, as a soul had a God encounter on the road to Damascus, Lord, that I pray, Lord, that you'll touch, you'll touch our Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, by Spirit, Lord, that 
that his eyes will be open, his heart will be yes. Lord, that he'll receive a heavenly download, a heavenly download, a wisdom to govern and to lead and guide this nation. Father, we pray, Lord, that you put the anointing. Father, that we come against every spirit of intimidation that is against every spirit of witchcraft, of which every occultic spirit operating in Jephthah. We break the power. We destroy it. We pull it down in Jesus' name. We plead the blood of Jesus over the land. Scott Morris, we declare the child of God and we declare the angels of God around him and we declare, Lord, the, the spirit of wisdom and revelation is flowing into his life. And Lord is hearing from your spirit. He's hearing from your spirit. He's going to see the visions. He's going to see the dreams. Lord, I thank you, Lord, in making decisions, Lord, that is going to be difficult for him. But Lord, I thank you. We're going to put backbone in him, Lord, to make those hard decisions. And Lord, he'll be strengthened, Lord. He'll be yes, bold. Lord. He'll be bold, he Lord. Be bold. And he'll be a he'll strong be man. He'll be God's strong man. God's yes, mighty man. Lord, we declare that over there. And we pray, Lord, that he moves yes, upon his land. Yes, in the name. Yes, the yeah, the Lord just showed me, like David, he says, I don't come in my own strength, but I come in the name of the Lord of hosts. And I sense God saying, I'm putting the axe to the root of the tree in Canberra. I'm going to put the axe right to the root, says God. Yes. I'm going to root out those things that are unseemly and unclean and evil, says God, and whisperers and plotters and schemers, says God. He's going to cut the staff, cut the staff down. I've heard it's too much. God said, I'll cut down those who lie around and use my, my house of government for their own pleasure, says God. Mm. I will cut it out like a filthy, rotten thing that it is. And the Lord says, you know, he'll come and he'll say, I don't know why, but I'm empowered to change these things right now. And Lord, we ask for you to give him strength to stop this border nonsense with these states. Father, let it be done and with. Let it be done with. Don't let him give them money so they can shut the borders. Let it be done with. Let it be done with. It's crippling people. It's breaking up families. It's causing suicides. And Father, let it be done with. And you told me to call out those things that I hate. And I hate what they're doing to our workers. I hate what it's doing to our population. And I call it down. I call it down, the wicked work of the enemy that would give him a name, a bad name, and he's done so much good. And, Father, but he needs the power over those state governments. Father, do something in the spirit to change that whole setup, Father, where state governments can hold the people hostage. We thank you, Father. Let him make a decision. Let him change the Constitution. Let him do what has to be done. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let him show forth the love of his nation that he has in his heart. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for this man. We thank you for our treasure. We thank you for other good thank Christian Lord. men. We, we back them up. We stand with them. Good Christian men like Peter Dutton, men that stand up for our nation, that are patriots. Father, the world is watching Australia saying, this man is telling China where to go. They are admiring our Prime Minister. We need that Father to know that we are standing in a, in a very privileged place in the world. Father, that people are admiring what he's doing. And they're saying, this is a man of credibility. Thank you, Lord. This is a man who stands up for human rights. This is a man who stands up against China. Father, we thank you, Lord, for every resource to be brought into his cabinet. Every clever man, every resource, everything we need, Father. Thank you, Lord. To make this nation the nation it should be Thank for Christ. Thank you, Lord. I call amen. forth those miracles, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Anybody want to lift up a prayer? Thank you, Lord. Right. Got a prophetic word here. God is going to deal with pedophilia. He's going to do it at a very high level, right at the right at the very top. In the days to come, we are going to hear some news that will make a year tingle. Uh, God is going to bring exposure. Amen. It's going to be ex big time exposure. Uh, people are entangled with it are going to be exposed to that as well. Uh, the media will try to hide it, but God will shout it. Amen. And uh, there's going to be exposure in the areas. Uh, and Father, we just commit this whole pedophilia thing, Lord, the yes, ring and Lord. whatever is happening, God. Lord, that you're exposing the evil work of darkness lord you're bringing everything to the light of god lord yes, the cleansing and purging lord yes, that the evil doers may be taken yes, away lord i thank you my god uh, uh, that uh, even i just sense that even as i say that thing i sense that even these people are connected with china
they connected with China and they have to bow to China uh, because they, they are caught in the web of lies and, 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 and wickedness and uh, God is going to take them out so that uh, China doesn't have a say over some of those things. Uh, those yes. wicked, uh, Lord, we pray, Amen. Father, Father, remove, Lord, remove those Amen. wicked men Amen. in those Amen. places, Amen. those who have compromised the nation, Lord, yes. everyone, Lord, who is doing things, Father, that is not beneficial, Lord, I thank you that Lord, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're going to put Thank the you. broom into Canberra. Indeed. You're also going to put the broom in the state uh, parliament. And Lord, I thank you. You're going to sweep it clean. We thank you and we praise you. And we give you the yes. glory. And the Thank states, you. and the states, Lord. Thank Thank you. Canberra. Someone in Canberra mm. who has a seat of authority and, um, and they're in like a wrestling match in the spirit. It's like an arm wrestle. And I saw the Lord coming behind the man that's... Um, seated in the place of authority and he's a man of righteousness i'm not sure who it is but i see the lord coming behind him and putting his hand on his hand putting the amen. lord the lord's hand is on the man of righteousness and he's like amen. pushing that you know when you have an arm wrestle and you push the other person's arm down so it's the yeah. strong arm of god is um is going to go hand in hand with the person who would stand for righteousness in that place yes yes how wonderful pushing, um pushing yeah. the other arm down so yeah. it's the arm of wickedness is coming down and um because that man would dare to stand for righteousness i think in the old testament if one person stood for righteousness you know then the whole like it makes yeah, a difference yeah, it does. It That's right. yeah. for the one person yeah. even if there was one person who would stand for righteousness yes. righteousness i thank you that you are behind that person yes, and brother. that righteousness will prevail i just thank you father amen God, and God, in God, schools and who can be against us. thank you father yeah thank you, yes thank yeah. you lord